I feel it necessary to kind of touch on this again is uh, the over spiritualization of scripture is just an explosive trend between having such a surge of reformed and new age thought that's just permeating the culture. It is so important that we stay rooted and grounded in the literal common sense reading of the text. Many times in scripture you will see the reference back, have you not read, is it not written, and the like, and it's pointing us back to study the text. Not what we need it to say, not what we want it to say. Just read it and study it the way it is written instead of looking for some hidden mystical meaning somewhere blanketed beneath the words of Scripture. We need to just study the revealed and stated context. It truly, in my opinion, is one of the best pieces of advice you can get when reading the Bible. When the plain sense of Scripture makes common sense, seek no other sense. Therefore, take every word at its primary, ordinary, usual, literal meaning, unless the facts of the immediate context studied in the light of related passages and axiomatic or obviously true and fundamental truths indicate clearly otherwise. That will keep us out of making many of these new age over-spiritualized errors that are just flooding the Christian body. Second Peter, beginning in three, chapter 3, verse 15, says, An account that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, so it will take some study and some commitment to uh, digging in and exegeting the scriptures and comparing scripture with scripture, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest or twist make up their own interpretation to, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things, before beware, so it's a cautionary statement to believers, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Staying rooted and grounded in what the text of Scripture says, not through the lens of our feelings, not through the lens of our desires, definitely not through the lens of society or culture. We are to stay grounded in interpreting the, the Bible, the Scriptures, the Word of God, as it is written. And that will really help us not to fall in this wake and wave of the culture that just interpret the Bible as it seems right in their own eyes, depending on how they feel, depending on the culture and other subjective influences. The Bible is objective. When we read a passage of Scripture, there cannot be multiple correct interpretations of a passage. 
there can be multiple incorrect interpretations. We could both be wrong, but if our interpretation is contrary one to another, one of us cannot be correct. It's just that simple. I really believe that this rule, if applied, would negate and remove so much of the problems that we have when we're interpreting what the Bible says. If we will just try not to spice it up or any of that and just take it for what it says, meditate on it, let the Holy Spirit connect scripture with scripture correctly so that we can get a broader understanding of a specific truth or doctrine or topic and not fall in to this every man interpreting it differently and somehow thinking we can all be correct because that is simply not how it works. So be vigilant. Study the scriptures. Let them speak to you. And I know it'll be a blessing and it'll help us as individuals and as a body to grow in grace. Second Peter 3.18 In the undeserved loving kindness of God and in the knowledge of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen.